Hello, ciao, hola, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie, I am an English teacher, and I also know Spanish. So today, I thought I would do something different than my last video, which was the English films and series, and I'd bring you some Spanish and also uh, some Catalan um, films and series that you can watch to learn the language. <laughs> So I do have to say I'm not a massive fan of a lot of TV series in Spanish or any films actually made and created in Spain. Netflix series, however, yes, I do like both in Spanish and in Catalan. So as you will see, I did say films, there, there is some that exist, but I'm not a fan of them. So I'm going to be bringing you mostly series mostly on netflix as well so hopefully you can find them on netflix um but yeah there is some that obviously you can put subtitles in english or in whatever language you speak but you have to basically watch them in spanish in the original language to actually learn this is what happens when you live with kids <laughs> Hold that thought. Okay, so I am sorry if you did hear kids in the background, and you probably still will, but I need to get filming. So, I'm going to start with Valencian or Catalan because basically it's the one that I know less um, series and films to help you. Um, now, there's one series on Netflix that I love, and it is Merli. It's called Merli, I'll put up a picture here and the name and basically it's a series about a, philo a philosopher teacher in like, a philosophy teacher in high school um, and it's got, yeah, quite a lot of seasons, it's quite interesting, you learn a lot and they also speak Catalan and they do speak fast Catalan so I actually do have subtitles on at the same time while I'm watching it but for me that's probably the best Catalan series there is out there, there is others but nah, they're not as good so that's for me the best and now moving on to spanish now the spanish series you are probably more um acquainted to you probably do know what i'm actually talking about i'm going to say their names in english and in spanish um so yeah and most of these are actually on netflix i think there's only one that isn't so the first one i'm going to mention is cable girls las chicas del cable i love it it's set in madrid um, in the First or Second World, well, the Spanish World War, um, Spanish World War, in the Spanish Civil War, sorry, and it's about these girls and, like, uh, girl power and, yeah, I love, I love, I love that series. I'm waiting for the next one to come out, the next, um, season. Then we have more school, high schooly, that kind of vibe series, and we have Elite, and then we have also Toy Boy. Now, Elide is about like these rich kids in high school and people dying and trying to find out who dies or who kills them, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's quite interesting. I did like it, but it's not to everyone's taste. And then Toy Boy, great for the girls to watch and see some eye candy. Again, it's also about mm, deaths, everything like that. Um, again, it's this one is set in Malaga in Spain. Um, it's not about school, high school, it's kind of about like a strip club and the boys like stripping down, dancing around, quite nice to watch. So that is, uh, yeah, Toy Boy, it's actually an English name but it's a Spanish series. And then there's one that's not on Netflix, I think, and it's called Vis a Vis. And now it's kind of, I don't know if it was out before or after this, but it's like basically the same as Orange is the New Black, but the Spanish version and all the people. I've not watched it personally, but my friends love it. So I am going to recommend it. If you find it on Netflix, then great, but I don't know whether it is actually on there. And then we have two more that I could actually think of like from the top of my head. And yes, I think you're waiting for this one. We have La Casa del Papel, Money Heist. Um, I've got nothing to say apart from watch it and try watch it in the original language which is Spanish so we have La Casa de Papel, 
And then we also have a new one which was actually out last year and actually my friend makes an extra in this film, I film, in this series, and it's Valeria. So again, I haven't watched this yet, but I've seen her part where she's in, in the background. Um, but yeah, I have to get around to watching that and these are actually uh, on Netflix. Okay, so as I said, TV series, Spanish TV series, like they try to do the typical soaps like EastEnders, Coronation Street, blah blah. But they're not good and they've tried to be funny and it's just not funny and it's something that I like it's painful for me to watch now all the people that I know actually love these um, like random um, soaps there's like like I said Athena, Aida, lots of things like that they're just not good they're just not good so if you want to have a look at them you can they're not on Netflix they're only on like Spanish TV but ugh, just just no um, then again films not a big fan um, of any Spanish films really. Most Spanish films are actually horror films and they're quite drastic, they're bad, so just don't again. So I would recognize, uh, recommend, sorry, I would recommend the series that I've mentioned. I'd also recommend following influencers on Instagram or watching Spanish YouTubers because they're probably the most um, colloquial, um, conversational Spanish you're gonna hear. Um, so I will leave some in the description, you've also got, like, you've got the famous, like, Dulceida, but there's quite a lot of influencers out there that you can watch, um, online, and, oh, another series, sorry, 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 I forgot, is Narcos. Now, I didn't actually mention this at the beginning because it's not actually, um, Spain Spanish, it's Mexican Spanish, so they have accents, it's quite hard to follow, I've heard lots of foreigners say that it's really hard for them to understand, but um, yeah, if you have English subtitles or if you're really good at Spanish, then that's a good one to watch, obviously. Okay, and finally, one thing I would like to mention for you to learn Spanish is probably music. Now, I'm mentioning this because there's also lots of music in Catalan um, or Valencian. Now, um, it's kind of old music, I'd say, more ska, rock, rap type music. Um, but if you're into music, then I would um, recommend some in Catalan and in Spanish. Spanish music is mostly reggaeton, but then you do have the more slow pace uh, singers like Pablo Alborán, um, Nil Moliner, I think is one. Then you have in Catalan mostly groups of music. So there's Aspingat, La Goza Sorda, things like that. And in Spanish you have La Raíz. So there's lots of like Spanish singers and groups of um, music that you can listen to. But yeah, that is just for you to find out. Most of them are on Spotify or on YouTube, so you can go there and understand and watch and listen to them for yourselves. So that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope they helped you out. And if you do know any other series, um, films, music, then comment them down below and I'll see you soon for another video.